Hiram here. Last couple of days I've been doing a couple of stove tests on small alcohol stoves. It started off with this one, my canteen cup stove, and then I made one that was pretty much a duplicate of it except it had holes all the way around it. This came out with some decent times, but it was a little bit heavy, 21 grams for this. So I had a lot of you know, had people asking me for lighter and lighter ones, and I came up, had this idea that I did a couple of years ago, but never really tested it, using an Axe can, Axe deodorant can, and this thing weighed 8 grams. Well, you saw the test yesterday on this, and boy, did I get the comments from uh, trying to kill people, showing a dangerous item, this is way too dangerous for camping. A couple of the nicest comments that I got on the uh, video was Bebopper said, this doesn't look like a viable proposition in the real world. With the modifications, it may be suited for a single cup boil. Uh, Mr. Sh Spank me uh, made the comment, four minutes to warm up, 17 minutes total time to boil. Hiram, these narrow, tall stoves are dangers. You need to you need to decided the max height and width of stoves to use for safety. People, this was only a concept test. I wasn't advocating this. I think I said this could be a little dangerous. You know, anybody, if you got to be careful with anything you use in the field. So, this is out. Racked my brains today to come up with something else. And this is what I came up with. This is a small soda can, the 7.5 fluid ounce cans versus, say, a large regular size can. This has got to be, I think, possibly this is the lightest, easiest to make do-it-yourself alcohol stove that there can be, I think. Basically, it's just a can. I cut the top, take the tab off. I cut out this center part with a sharp knife. I'm sure you've seen it on a lot of videos, how to do that. Just go around and around and around. And then you can poke this out. I cut this off where it comes back out to the full-size can. I cut that down a quarter of an inch all the way around, save that ring. Then the bottom side... I came up two inches, cut that off. So now you've got two pieces, you just sand them down. Take the middle piece that was in the middle and just throw it away. So all you do then is after you've sanded it, you don't have to take the paint off unless you're one of these gram weenies that really needs to cut down the weight. All you do is just take the top, put it into the bottom just like that, now this is cut off of course you put it on the table and just gently push down on it until the top goes into the bottom none of this finagling with the different sizes and having to expand one to get the other piece into it it just slides right in and if you do it gently enough when you push it down on the table it'll only go in the quarter of an inch, inch and then stop now before you put those in I just punched 16 holes, again with the paper punch that anybody can get. And there you have a stove. Now I've tested it, it works, but what I'm going to do today is do a boil test. I have one ounce of denatured alcohol here. Let's put that in, get it started. Now this can be again a little touchy as far as when you first put it on there, but this one works just like this one did. It's practically the same stove, except this one will fit inside this one. But what had happened was I figured the aluminum can itself is not really strong enough to lay something on top. That's why that top piece was cut out and then stuck inside there. It reinforces the top edge of the stove. 
I'm not sure how much weight this will take, but a two cup pot has no problems at all. If there's real interest, I'll make one of these on video and show you how it's done. What we have to do here is see what kind of time this gets. Oh, now as far as the lightest weight, when I weighed this with the paint still on it, uh, my scale goes only has, <clears throat> has full grams on it. It doesn't have points of a gram. So depending on how I put it there, one time it says 7, the next time it says 8, then 7, then 8. So it's probably like 7.5 grams or 0 0.20 ounces or 0 0.01 pounds. So let's say 7.5 grams for this. Okay, I think this is going, the, the alcohol is boiling. You just gently put this on and let the flames come out through the holes. Like that. Let's start the timer. What did that say? 67 degrees to start? I'll have to check back on that. But let's see where this goes. Okay, there we have 210, 211, 212 at 450, 4 minutes and 50 seconds for 2 cups of water to come to a boil. I'll have to look back on this. It was 67 degrees, but I don't think it was that high. But let's let this run out until the alcohol burns out and see how long that takes. Okay, and there go the flames at let's say 8 minutes 40 seconds, 8 minutes 40, okay, not bad. Recap here, that was 2 cups of water, I think started at about 60, I'll have to look back on the video. Uh, when I first looked up, but it had already been on the stove, it said 67, but it could have heated it up that fast. Anyway, two cups of water, starting at 60, one fluid ounce of alcohol in this, and it got it to a boil in four minutes and 50 seconds. Uh, when I did it with this stand, it took four minutes and 15 seconds. Not too bad, depending, you know, with the weight involved in it. Like I said, this is 21 grams. This is, let's say, 7.5 grams. Uh, the one fluid ounce of alcohol burned out in 8 minutes and 40 seconds. So not bad for a little bitty stove that you can throw into your pack. Matter of fact, it even fits inside this one. Hmm. Very easy to make. That's why it's not a brag when I say that I think this is it's the lightest, easiest do-it-yourself alcohol stove, not burner, but stove that I've ever made. Doesn't take any special tools, just a paper punch. Uh, now I use, do use a Dremel, but I mean, you can see th there's lots of videos out there showing you how to cut these cans with just safety blades. And it just all sticks together. So, hopefully this will suit people better than that axe stove can will. Oh, I threw that away. Threw it on the floor. Uh, let me know what you think about this. As always, I look forward to your input, your questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now. No, you've been a good friend. And that's in the thick and thin. Yeah.